So here we can see a standard 4K Fire Stick Max. It's supposed to be a pretty fast device, but we can see when I press down and up, down, up, go over to the right, we can see what kind of response we get on the home screen. And let's now jump over to my older 4K Fire Stick, which is much older than the 4K Fire Stick Max. And we can see on this device, pressing down, up, bang, bang. Look at that response time, guys. Going to the right, we can just see it just seems infinitely more snappier, more responsive, pressing down, up, down, up, down, up, down. We can see that response is more or less instantaneous. Up, down, up. And again, jumping back to the 4K Fire Stick Max, down, 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 up. We can see it definitely does seem to be slower on the home screen than the 4K Fire Stick. Now, all of this is possible by the TDUK Speed Toolbox. Now, this is a completely free application, works on all of your Fire OS 6 devices and newer Fire OS 7 devices also works on your Android TV devices and essentially allows you to remove all of those animation delays, all of those transition delays, and it will just give you a much more responsive, snappier device. And the last test, if I long press the home button, so ready, steady, go. We see the animation there. Let's do that one more time. Ready, steady, go. And now if I jump over to the optimized 4K Fire Stick, we can see on this device, ready, steady, go. It's just instant guys so ready steady go that response is instant so in this video today let me show you how you can get the tduk speed toolbox on all of your devices and i'll also give you a bonus tip at the end on how you can fully maximize the performance on your android tvs and your amazon devices so please do take a moment to hit that like button make sure you hit that subscribe button so with all of that being said Let's get started. If you're new to the channel and you want to stay up to date with the latest tech tutorials, the latest Fire Stick, Android and Android TV tips and tricks, then please do subscribe and hit the notification bell. It's a small click from you, but it makes a big difference to me. Thank you. Okay, so to get the TDUK Speed Toolbox on all of your devices, just head over to your settings, go down into My Fire TV, and where it says Developer Options, click on that, click on Install Unknown Apps, and just make sure downloader is set to on. Once you've confirmed that, let's now open up downloader and we can now make a quick connection to my website, which is just techdoclouk.com or you can type in this short code 53402 and click on go. And if you ever get any errors with that code, the first thing to try is if you are using a VPN is to disconnect your VPN and you should be able to access my website without any issue. Now, when you get to my site, if you head over to the hamburger menu, which is the one with the three lines, click on that, click on tutorials, and fairly near the top, you'll see the link to the TDUK Speed Toolbox. Let's open that up. So we have the TDUK Speed Toolbox, and essentially what's happening in the background on all of your Android devices, even your phones and tablets, they have these built-in animations and transitions. And yes, they can look nice, but if you are running maybe an underpowered device, or maybe you're just somebody that wants the maximum performance, you don't care about animations or transitions, turning these things off can rapidly improve the experience or the home screen performance on all of your Android devices. Let's scroll down. Now one key thing to mention here because I have covered this toolbox I think once or twice before is every time I do it there's always somebody that sets the values to zero for all three options which we can see up here but if you set the third one the animation duration scale to zero then in Downloader, you'll see that the mouse will jump from cursor to cursor. Lots of people have been caught out by that. So for that one, I always recommend for the third one, just set it to 0.5 or 0.4, basically any value higher than zero, otherwise you'll get that jumpy mouse. Okay, let's scroll down. And underneath all of that, we'll have a link. Actually, we've got here, we can see my recommendations, which is 00, 0 for the first two, and then 0 0.2 for the third one. But even that, if you find the mouse to be a bit too fast, you can slightly increase the third value. Let's keep going down. And we now have a link here for the TDUK Speed Toolbox. So let's click on that. I can now scroll down and click on the green download button. We can click on install and just make sure that you have got ADB debugging enabled because this application does use ADB to make those changes. Click, let's click on done. Let's now press the home key. Let's now start the toolbox. 
we can see, sometimes I've seen on some devices, it actually comes up as zeros, even though they're not set as zero. So I always recommend manually coming in here, selecting zero, selecting zero. Maybe for this one, let's just do uh, 0.2. Let's just press save a few times, make sure that's properly gone in. And when I now press the home button, we can see pressing down. That's now taken effect straight away. So the home screen navigation, pressing up and down here, because the animations have now been removed, we get that much more faster, snappier, quicker performance. It really will just breathe new life into your Fire Stick. If you have noticed it going a bit slow, turning off these animations will definitely give it that boost. And also doing the long press, pressing home, we can see that's now instant as well. So definitely makes a big difference, especially on the 4K Fire Stick or the slightly older devices. You really can speed these things up. And we can see again now everything is still super snappy. So that's really the main thing of this video, how you can quickly optimize the performance of your Fire Stick, Fire TV or your Android TV devices. But if you really want to optimize the background memory, which you know on these devices, once it starts running a bit low, you end up getting buffering, end up getting choppy playback. It really affects the performance of your device. So a quick way to see what's running in the background is to open up the background tasks and process list. We can see we have 13 apps running in the background. So if you want to, you can manually go into each of these applications one at a time. But if you're somebody looking for the easiest and fastest way to stop all of these background applications with one click, I definitely recommend you check out the TDUK App Killer available directly on the Amazon App Store and the Google Play Store. We can see I can start the application. I can click on connect. That's now connected. I can click on count the total running background apps. We can see there's 11 apps. If I want to keep my VPN running or keep my launcher manager running or keep my mouse toggle running, I can click on this option here. But in this demonstration, I'm going to click on four stop all apps, which in theory should close off not 11 because it's not going to close down the app killer. It should close off those 10 applications with one click. So if I click here now, ready, steady, go. And in less than one second, we can see 10 of those applications have now been killed, which means if I click on exit, go back into the background apps and process list, we can see in one second, all of those applications have now been properly full stopped, which means my device has now freed up all of that background memory, giving me better performance, helping me reduce any kind of buffering, and just overall giving me a better experience on my Amazon device, as well as my Android TVs. Application is available both on the Amazon App Store and the Google Play Stores. Do check out if you are interested. Do leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think, and I'll hopefully catch up with you guys real soon. Thanks.